Welcome back, Stockholics. Today, we're going to be talking about NEO and what's happening right now. So far, as of today, February 1st, NEO is sitting at around $60. In my opinion, I think NEO right now is being largely overshadowed. All the hype that's going on with Tesla and the electric uh, vehicle industry that is being overshadowed by what's happening with GameStop right now. So, it might be a perfect buying opportunity. Also keep in mind that the Q4 earnings of 2020 for NEO is only a month and a half away on March 17th. So in order to understand the pricing of NEO, we have to look at the EV industry and try to determine uh, how its future growth. So since 2010, the number of EV cars on the road grew from almost non-existent to 7.2 million today. As shown on this graph, what's even more exciting is the EV future forecast the growth rate. According to this graph, by the end of 2040, we might have as many as 60 million electrical vehicles on the road. And it's also really interesting to note that the largest number of vehicles is going to be from China, more than the USA. In fact, it looks like there is almost about 20 million uh, EV cars going on the market by 2040 as compared to the 10 million in the US. It's no doubt that whoever controls the EV market in China will control a fair share of the EV cars manufactured in the entire world. So a few things to consider about NEO is its price. It started last year at $3.70 and it saw a 1500% increase to $62 at a peak of $62 last week. When you compare that to Tesla though, NEO is currently sitting at a market cap of about $90 billion while Tesla controls about $750 billion. So that's about 8.4 times more. So the question you're probably wondering is, will Tesla win the fight in China? In my opinion, I don't think they will because uh, it's been known so far in a few instances that NEO has the support of the Chinese government. For instance, back in December 2019, NEO received a $1 billion bailout from the Chinese government. Additionally, just in two months ago, there is news that NEO is teaming up with China State Grid to build battery charging swapping stations all across the country. Their goal is to create 100 battery swapping stations by the end of 2021. It's important right now to note that there are 143 battery swapping stations right now across 64 cities in China. As if things weren't exciting enough already, the Beijing government in December 2019 set a goal for themselves to have 25% of all cars being sold as electrical vehicles by 2025. Also, just a few months ago, they announced that they plan on making all vehicles sold in 2035 eco-friendly. That's nuts. Even though NEO has a large uh, market share of China right now, there are also two other competitors called Li Auto and Xpeng. I will talk more about them in another video though. Now that we went over the macroeconomic uh, factors in the EV market, it's now time to move on and talk about the fundamentals of NEO. So this is a forecast of NEO's car sales, cost of goods sold, total revenue, and net income, which is forecasted to break even 2024. Comparably, Tesla is already profitable as of last year. Tesla had $720 million in net profit. Keep in mind that $1.6 billion of that revenue is from regulatory credits. The selling of regulatory credits is such a lucrative business for Tesla that they received $3.3 billion in five years selling regulatory credits. And in the past of last year alone, $1.6 billion uh, was from selling regulatory credits. So when you compare that to the net income of $721 million of Tesla from last year, they would have made a loss if they didn't sell those regulatory credits. So what are regulatory credits? Regulatory credits are given by the state and federal government for contributing zero population to the environment. To the Zero Emissions Vehicle Program from California, 
which uh, 10 other states have adopted so far. Car makers must hold a certain number of credits or face hefty fines. So far, 11 states mandates that a certain percentage of yearly sales from car manufacturers must come from zero emissions vehicles by 2025 in order to curb pollution. Tesla doesn't usually disclose who buys the credits from them, but in September 1st of 2017, it was noted that the company transferred 88,000 credits to Toyota. Also, General Motors and Chrysler uh, reached agreements in 2019 to buy federal credits from the company. So it's clear if other automakers start producing more EV cars that they wouldn't need these credits and there goes a large share of Tesla's revenue. So it's pretty clear that without its credit system that Tesla would be in the negative in terms of net profit as of today. So without this credit system, one can assume that Tesla and Neo are on the same playing field as in terms of net profit. So going back to NEO, it's important to note, according to NEO's third quarterly earnings report for 2020, they had a forecasted EPS or earnings per share growth of 17 cents, but they reported 14 cents. But luckily, their revenue was $666 million as compared to analyst expectation of $628 million. Another thing that was really remarkable about NEO is their deliveries growth year over year. In Q2 of last year, NEO deliveries uh, grew by 191% year over year. In Q3, their deliveries grew by 154%. In Q4, deliveries increased by 111%. Overall, NEO was said to deliver 43,728 vehicles in 2020, up 112.6% year over year. So it is clear that NEO is completely smashing when it comes to monthly delivers. So far in total, NEO has delivered over 82,866 vehicles. Additionally, a lot of exciting developments were released on Neo Day Expo just a few weeks ago. On top of uh, Neo releasing a new vehicle called the Neo ET7, they promised expanding the number of charging stations and battery swapping stations. But most importantly, the they released a new battery, 150 kilowatts that has the ability to go 620 miles on one single charge. To put things into perspective, at the moment, the Tesla Model S Long Range Plus boasts a 402 miles on one charge. So that's almost a 30% increase on miles in one single charge. So as a result of everything that happened uh, in the past year on deliveries and expo day, analysts raised their buy price range for NEO. JP Morgan raised their buy rating to $75. Meanwhile, Bank of America also raised it to $70 and Credit Suisse to $71 and Dutch Bank to $70. As if there weren't enough good news, as of today, NEO reported that in January, they had deliveries rise to 7,225 units. So that's a 352% year over year change. All in all, even though NEO ran up so much in the past year, I would still keep an eye out on NEO. They're overperforming on deliveries. They are going to be break even on net profit in a few years. And the EV industry is just huge. And we're at the beginning of it. As always, if you found the video informative, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.